Hey, this is Antonio. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to have some fighting words. But before we go any further, as always, I need for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about Devin Haney. Um, in my opinion, Devin Haney is the Earl Spence of 130, 135, and quite possibly 140. Like, nobody wants to fight this dude. Um, Devin Haney has been making his rounds, as usual, <laughs> every time he's done with a fight. He just goes to back to his um, his usual and just starts picking names out of a hat. Whoever name he opens up, that's the name he's going to go after. Uh, so apparently Jojo Diaz and uh, Ryan Garcia were in talks for a fight. However, Ryan Garcia, he's been injured. Uh, and according to sources, he's going to need some surgery. So he's definitely not going to be fighting Jojo Diaz. Jojo Diaz does not believe Ryan Garcia. Um, basically, he just believes that, you know, you don't want to fight and you're just doing all that talking, but you don't want to fight. You're just wolfing. Um, now, the only reason why I believe he's saying this is because there was a time when, another time when Ryan Garcia had a fight and then he claimed to have been sick. Then he said that he was going through like mental illnesses and, all, you know, just mental fatigue or whatever, but then we saw him, photos of him and his girlfriend on a beach and all this stuff, and it was just like, okay, so I, I believe that's where it's coming from. Jojo Diaz just honestly doesn't buy it. So that being said, Devin Haney takes his attention off of Ryan, which every time they see each other, it's the same thing. When are we going to fight? And basically, Devin's putting it all on Ryan because – it's easy for anybody, <laughs> 130, 135, 140, to find Devin Haney because he's probably already at your door. He might be outside your window. He's definitely going to your gym. He's at every event, so it's not like it's hard to find Devin Haney. Um, but every time he runs into Ryan Garcia, it's a lot of this, but not a whole lot of this. So Devin Haney's like, fine, Jojo Diaz, what's up? Since you don't have Ryan anymore, I'm available, and I was calling him out, but since you're available, let's do this. Um, I'm not mad at that fight. I am not mad at that fight. Um, I would love to see that fight happen. I, honestly, I don't, I don't know if it happens. Like I said, Devin Haney is the Earl Spence, and I'm talking about Earl Spence, was just really making a name for himself, really just getting on the scene. Um nationally like yeah people knew who he was if you if you follow boxing then you knew who, who he was at the time but it wasn't until he sparred Floyd Mayweather that people were like who's that guy you know that's when like the buzzing really started getting around it's a lot similar to um uh Daniel Dubois nobody really knew who Daniel Dubois was and then we heard that he sparred Anthony Joshua and he floored him not once but twice and there was also another story going around that he, like, knocked him out. You know, in which case, when he was asked about it, Daniel just started laughing. Like, he just, he just started smiling. So, you know, there could very well be some truth to it. Anything's possible. Anybody can get clipped. So, same thing with, with uh, Devin Haney. He's been around. I mean, he's always been around. He's been in everybody's gym. He's sparred a lot of people. And he's not shy to call people out. And... I don't see anybody jumping back up to say, yeah, I'll fight you back. And, and I'm talking anybody in that division. I don't see Tank saying anything back. I don't see Shakur Stevenson saying anything back. I don't see anybody, Ryan Garcia, T and Fimo Lopez, which also ran into uh, Devin Haney recently. <laughs> he was like maybe two or three days ago. Um, matter of fact, the uh, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder fight uh, trilogy ran into each other. And Devin, being Devin Haney, he cornered him. Was like, "Yo, what's up? Are we gonna do this or what? You know, what what are, what are we doing? What's going on with you and Cambosos? Because honestly, that's that's taken longer than anybody ever thought. And now we're hearing, you know, rumors of you and 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 Lomachenko trying to do it again. W what exactly is up with you? You know, and if you look at Tiafimo, he's like he's talking about Bob Arum. He's like. You know, like, we're talking to you. What do you want to do? 
you know, and it's funny because a lot of fighters will do that. They'll just deflect and be like, well, so-and-so. And it's like, all right, that's great. But what do you want to do? AJ was notorious for doing that. And it really annoyed Deontay Wilder. Well, he would be like, Eddie, 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 Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn. And he's like, but what do you want to do? You're the fighter. He works for you. You don't work for him. You tell him what you want. Do you want to fight me? And the same thing here with, with um, Tiafimo Lopez and Devin Haney. Debbie, Debbie and his dad just run up on people. <laughs> one at all, one on that smoke, no problem. Just run up on people in public, don't care. And Tiafimo didn't look like he wanted anything. He, he was saying, oh, he's easy work and yada, yada, yada. But you can't say people are easy work and then not fight them. Because if he's easy, go handle that. Right? <laughs> if he's easy, just go handle that. Call it a day. Go handle it. Don't worry about it. Just get an easy payday. Worst case scenario, you get an easy payday. But I don't see anybody running to him. I don't see anybody running to Devin Haney. And I'm talking about anybody at 130, 135, or 140. I don't see anybody calling his name out. I definitely, they, they all love to say like, he, oh, he's nothing and he's this and he's that. But I don't see any of them raising their hand saying, oh, I'm next, I'm next. Come for me, Devin. I don't see anybody doing that. Nobody. And, you know, I hope Jojo Diaz is, listen, Jojo Diaz, Diaz he strikes me as a scrapper. Like, not just in a ring, but like, you could probably get it in the street. And it, I believe if he commits to something, he'll he'll stick to it. Um, it's not like you know Ryan Garcia who 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 will act a certain way when the cameras are on him. But I think it's more just for press and to get more clickbait. You know, you you get Tiafimo Lopez who who's lately has been doing a lot of talking and we haven't seen him fight in a long time. So. When you add it all up, it's like you guys are just doing a lot of barking, but you ain't doing a whole lot of biting. And this guy wants to bite. He wants to get off the leash. She wants to get from behind the, the gate and be let, just be let go. And all you guys are doing is talking. And if he has to terrorize you guys, which he clearly doesn't mind doing, and it makes you guys look bad when he's terrorizing you because he's only proving his point. You guys say you're this and you say you're that and... You might have a belt here and you got a few straps here, but you're not willing to defend them. And you certainly are willing to defend them against the guys who are considered, you know, the upper echelon of that, that division. And he's giving you the leeway. Hey, you want to fight at 130? You want to fight at 135? You want to, let's just go up to 140, whatever. Let's do it. He's giving you all the leeway. And you still don't say anything. You'll talk in the moment because he's in your face. But once he's out of your face, it's like, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want to deal with that. You know, and that's the, listen, as much as I don't want this to be a, that's what's wrong with boxing kind of rant, but that's what's wrong with boxing. When you have people who don't want to fight or you have people who are more concerned with the business than anything else, you can't talk about legacy and going down in history and all this and all this stuff. And then talk about, you know, being a unified champ. You're never going to be a unified champ if you don't fight other champs. You're never going to go down in history if you don't fight anybody worth mentioning in history. <laughs> so none of that stuff is relevant and none of that stuff is attainable if you don't go and fight one another. Period. And I don't want to hear this little thing of, oh, it's going to be more money down the road. Listen, there's always going to be someone else to fight. I don't care if it's a world war or whatever in the ring. There will always be someone else to fight. There's always going to be some new kid on a block. There's always going to be a new kid on the block. It's never going to be like, well, I took care, I took care of this division. There's nobody else left. Yeah, okay, wait six months. There'll be somebody, and he'll be reputable enough for you to to address him in the ring. What are you talking about? So the whole, you know, let's make the fight bigger in three to five years. Let's not do that, please. I hope we don't do that. Just because Floyd and Manny Pacquiao did it, listen, they earned the right to do it. They have been fighting since the 90s. <laughs> they, they earned the right to do it. You guys just got on the scene and you're already talking about let's wait. Let's not wait. Let's not wait. Let's do it now. While you guys are young, while you guys are fresh, while you guys are undefeated, let's do it now. Where all the chips are on the table, let's do it now. Let's not wait for later. 
And you guys can say whatever you want about Devin Haney, but in, in my eyes, he's the truth. He is the, the mini Earl Spence <laughs> of 130, 135, and 140. Until somebody gets in the ring and, and fights him and clips him, he's the truth in my eyes because he's the only one calling people out. And he's the only one going up to their face and saying it. All these guys who are talking, they're talking on Instagram and Twitter. He's literally saying it to their faces. So that's my little take on this. I want to know what you have to say. You know the routine down below. And as always, please like and subscribe.